Hello. Uh, this is a canoe I built a few years ago. And uh, when I bought the plans, well, I guess my wife got me the plans, and uh, I had them for about 10 years before I made the canoe. And uh, when I went to go place the seats, uh, they didn't really have good, uh, good instructions as to where to place the seats. You just said place them. And so I placed them. And if you look at some of my previous videos, um, I didn't place them correctly. And so when I hop in a canoe, the front of it sticks up pretty, pretty high. So I made the, the back the front and the front the back and uh, threw a little, I think 60 pounds of uh, dumbbells in the front to keep me level. And so that's the way I've been using the canoe. And uh, because of that, I really haven't enjoyed it. Uh, haven't enjoyed it as much as I thought I would. Although it does uh, go through the water nicely. So I've uh, decided to turn this canoe into a kayak, and that's what this film is going to be. And uh, I don't know how successful I'll be because I'm doing everything. I have no instructions, and I'm doing it on the on the fly. So uh, I wasn't going to make the movie, but I thought, well, maybe there's someone else out there like me who has uh, a little bit of money invested in their canoe, and uh, I have well over 800 hours in this canoe by the time I bought my cedar and fiberglass and seats and all the wood for the strong back and everything else. So it just seems a shame for me not to use this. So uh, I'm down here in Austin, Texas now. I used to live in New Jersey. So uh, they have a lot of lakes down there, so it's a lot different type of fishing. So I'm going to make this a, a kayak that I can fish out of. And well, not really a kayak, I guess, because really, instead of using paddles, I want to put a set of oars on it. I'm going to put a small keel on it also. So uh, these are at least my plans as they stand right now. They may change because, like I say, I have no, uh, no instructions on how to do this thing, and I'm not quite sure that I can do it. But uh, anyway, uh, here we go. Uh, the, f the first thing I've done is uh, went ahead and made these patterns uh, for each place uh, uh, where the, when I made the boat, I made a strong back. And each strong back, uh, well, the strong back. If you look at some of my other films on the on my channel, you'll see uh, the strong back had a bunch of these uh, plywood uh, uh, ribs or whatever you want to call them or sections that used to stand upside down. And I built the boat over the top. Well, I no longer had the plans. I got rid of the plans, and uh, and I no longer had the pattern. So what I've done is I've made these, and I've made these by. Uh, I basically, I, I stood a board up inside here. I have a piece of oak, fat oak over here. And I stood this up in the bottom of the boat. And then I cut a, a small piece to set flat. Just about where every strong back was. And I can tell where the strong back was because uh, I have uh, staple marks. And so I, I've just taped this and taped it in the bottom. And I've labeled each one left and right and what number they were. And then I'll just take small wedges, and uh, I've been taping them on the side, push it up against the side and tape it. So, uh, so I can kind of get the idea of, uh, of uh, what the bottom is going to be like, because when I cut this, I'm going to have to have ribs. And I'm going to put a deck on this. Uh, not a full deck, but probably, uh, oh, I don't know, probably half to, probably about half of the opening on top I'll have, because I want some room to be able to move around and grab my fishing poles. and store my oars or, or whatever. And then, uh, I've got to locate some styrofoam to place in the front and the back to give me a uh, flotation in case I roll, which I probably will. It's probably just a matter of time once I get the thing done. And uh, I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. But uh, anyway, that's how I've made these. I've made several of these so far. I think I have a total of nine I have to make. So, uh, so we'll see where we go from here. Okay. Uh, I hope to have it done in a, within the next month. I'm retired, but uh, I find I go fishing and biking, and of course I haul my wife around. We do different things together, so it may take me longer than a month or so. But uh, if anyone makes a comment, please call. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs>